All right, bro, we're back again. Another video for y'all. Today, I'm gonna show y'all a couple ways to beat man to man. So, you know, the corners are getting better. Joey Porter just dropped. Um, who else dropped? You know, they got AJ Terrell out here. So, if you don't have the best receivers, you're gonna need some routes to beat these man to man niggas. You know what I mean? So, I got y'all. I'm gonna show y'all five routes right now. And we gonna go to Packers mode. And I'm also tell y'all a couple like good formations to be in just to beat man to man coverage, okay? But we'll go over a couple routes, a couple concepts, and we'll call it a day. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. That's that's exactly. All right, so here we are. My favorite formation, uh, gun bunch, whatever trips, no gun bunch, offset, something, something, something. But my favorite formation, and we have them in the regular blitz over storm. Overstorm Brave, and you know Overstorm Brave. I don't know. I feel like after the patch, they just made it faster. Like these niggas come in faster. So if people are running this blitz, people are running the loop, people are running spinner. Here's the first route I'm gonna show y'all just to easily beat it. Okay, so if they're running the blitz, what you want to do is isolate the guy who's outside. So I like Tony better than Mango, so I'm gonna put him on a zig. The first route is gonna be a zig. So if you look at R1, he's gonna run a zig. So it's it's good, especially if they're shading. Y'all should know. The zig, okay. So I'm, I'm gonna run it. It's a quick route, boom, easy yard. It's a quick route. If they shade inside, because normally they shade inside, because people run slants, people run posts, people like to run drag routes. So people will shade inside. So if you have the zig route on the outside, he's gonna get open, wide open. So let me show you one more time. Oops, I didn't bother running back. We do one more time, and that time they shade inside. I don't even know what happened, but they shade inside. So let me show y'all one more time. Block my running back this time because they're running the blitz. He sh he's saw the Reeves move inside. He shaded inside. I don't even know how it happened, but he did it. And let me show you how open he gets. Boom. Just like that. Wide open. You're down the sideline. But what you want to do, it doesn't matter which side you do it on. You just want to have him the only person on that side. So you want like a late post coming, or like a late slant coming. And whoever's beside him, put him on a streak or put him on a drag or something. But you want him to be the only person on that side so there's no like other person over there trying to help him out. Okay, so that's the first route. Second route is gonna be a comeback route. I feel like this route isn't used a lot. So look at Christian Watson over there on the on the outside. I feel like this route is just underrated. I don't know why people don't use it, but it gets open so well. So I'm gonna do the same setup. Blah my running back. It gets open. Unless there's shading underneath, he's gonna be open. So regular shade. Throw it quick. Okay, great throw. Like Madden 24, like these throws. Poor accuracy. Let's do it again. Do it again. There we go, right at him, boom. And just like that. And if they're not shooting underneath, it's easy. Even if they're pressing, pressing it works a bit better because they're gonna be on the hip and they just stop. I wish I could press him for you. But if they're pressed, it works even better. So the comeback route is another good route. And these are all routes you have default. You don't need hot route master, it's default route. So just, just like this, boom. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These misses are in salmon practice mode. Why am I missing passes? I'm not even, I'm just gonna throw it regular. There we go. Right at him, you're gonna get 10 yards. It's another quick route to beat to beat man to man and get them out of this blitz, okay? So onto the next route I'm gonna show y'all. That's what I like to do is a corner route. Corner routes, they are not working as well as they used to, but but they're still out here, you know what I mean? They're not working as well as they used to, but they're still here. So I'm gonna show y'all. For the corner route, you gotta have someone fast. It can't be any regular route receiver. It can't be 80 overall. And this is the route I wanna show. I wanna show y'all corner routes, okay? So this is why I like to run it. You gotta have a fast receiver. It's gotta be someone who has good route running, good medium route running, and they'll get open. As long as they're not shading outside, they will get open. So look right here, boom. Right to Kadarius Tony. Durrell Revis isn't the best corner, but even against good corners, he will get open. Especially if they're shading inside, shading down, he's gonna get open. Let me do it one more time, corner route. Boom. Oh my goodness, I, I hate the underthrows. I hate the underthrows. I hate it. Try it one more time. Corner routes. It's also good if you can put them by themselves. 
So you have to have a good formation. You gotta have formations where they have corner routes set up because unless, unless you have Hot Rod Master, you're not gonna have formation. You're not gonna have this route available to you. So you gotta have a formation where they have a good corner route on a good play. So I know like plays like corners on, in trips or the corner route right here out of out of trips. Where is it? Right here, the tight end one. It's good. It's all good corner routes. It just to get the get the guy isolated into the corner. One on one. Troy Fisher. Yeah, Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts will moss him, but he's not the best runner. Like you have to get if those. If that's Mark Andrews or someone. Someone's better route running. He's gonna be wide open. So one more time, I'm sure you could. It's, it's a good route to get open. You see how open he is. Boom. Just like that. Another route to beat man. Okay, on to the third one. The third. One, I mean, no, sorry. The fourth one. I showed you the zig. You got the comeback, and you got the corner route okay so we got the fourth one on to the fourth one we're gonna do we're gonna go drag route so drag routes are always good whether it's mesh whether it's the, whether it's just a, a regular drag but these are all quick routes i'm trying to show y'all quick routes to beat the, the blitz so you got have them on the drag right now we're gonna go look at number 15 mango and the way his players playing even if it's man they'll normally beat i mean uh press man they'll beat them just like that and you have the wide open side to go to and especially if they're pressed and like you have like a bunch or even like a trip set let me show you in trips you have like a trip set what you want to do is just motion over the drag there's nothing you can do motion drag so motion drags people oftentimes people will go on man and as soon as you motion the guy it'll mess up the alignment so you will motion someone and it'll mess up how like everyone's guarding so like sometimes you'll you'll motion the guy here and Christian Watson's guy will try and follow him, okay? Just like that, snap it on the motion, and boom. Look how open he is. Snap it on the motion, just motion motion the guy who's on the drag anywhere on the field, and snap it. And it's, it's just, especially if they're pressed, it's a good way just to like, get the guy pressing, like to not press him. Like, he'll beat the press, there'll be no press on that receiver, and he'll be open. And it'll take the users, let's say they're using a linebacker, it'll take his attention. So say you're using, you're using the linebacker, you can easily do this and the slant will take his attention and you can throw something else just like just like that i guess but it's a terrible throw you know what i mean so it's a good distraction piece and it gets open okay and on to the last one my favorite run favorite one oh my goodness so it's just a texas route from either the tight end or the running back okay so my running back i only have the texas route i believe in and spread double flex in my playbook so i'm gonna show y'all right here I'm gonna put them in here too. So, Texas routes, they're gonna be good when you have Power Out Master. So, if you use the Chiefs on regs, you have the route here. So, just like this. Boom. Just like that. Oh, he dropped it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the Texas route, the Texas route, I only have missed formation. And against the Blitz, it's not the best. I'm gonna be honest, it's not the best. But if you can get it, if you can get like a motion block, get him one on one. He's gonna make the guy miss, especially if they're not shaded inside. Be even better one. If you have the tight end angle route in any of your playbooks, you gotta use it. You gotta use it. It's it's one of the best routes, especially against the blitz because it's so quick. Like it's such a quick route, and they're gonna get wide open. So let me just put. Oops. Let me show you like this. Block my running back. Let's watch Kyle Pitts. Boom. Wide open. Doesn't even have to be a good. Uh, tight end this could be a regular tight end have him on an angle route i mean texas route angle route whatever they call for tight ends i'm sure they have it in some of y'all playbooks you gotta look but boom he cooks him he cooks him so if they're running the blitz you know what you got the comeback route you got the zig route you got the drag route the motion drag you got the angle route and you have the corner route okay now let me show you how you can put it all together, okay, for one play. So I already showed y'all earlier. I already showed you the showed y'all the play earlier. So here's one play y'all can pull out of any formation you run. Just don't run single back bunch or whatever that thing is. Don't run it, bro. Start running ten attack. Start running this the RPO. It's not good, bro. If people are running man, find you a formation where someone is on a post, and that's all you have to do. Find a good post. So you have this over Storm Brave. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put Kyle Pitts on a streak, put Tony on a zig, put Watson on a comeback, 
and move my post. So just like this. Okay, so imagine if they're in cover two man, I got my post, I got my comeback, I got my zig. If they're in blitz, I got my zig, I got my comeback. So it's not it's not hard. If they're blitzing, you have two options. If they're running regular man, you got three options because you have more time. And then you can mix it up, you can switch it up, you can just do what you gotta do. So just like this, boom. I wanna go to Watson, I went to Watson. Okay, I'll run it one more time. Is his post. And you see what you see what this thing is? If they're shading down, I have my streak. Okay? If they're shading outside, I got my post, I got my, my comeback. If they're shading inside, I got my my zig right here. And I still got the comeback. And the shading like you have something if, if they're shading anyway. So no matter what you do, someone will be open. So just like this. Damn, that was outside shade. I didn't even see it. That was outside shade. I should have went to my post. You know what I'm saying? Let me do one more time. Come back. Streak. Zig. Motion. Block the running back. Just like this. So you gotta see which way the, which way they're shading. So normally I go Tony, and if he's covered, I go to the comeback. So just like this, he's open. Boom. He's gonna be open that time because I guess the computer shaded inside. So you just gotta do it like that. You gotta find you a play where you can have someone on a good post. I know some people do it out of trips where like it's tight end attack, so the tight end is on a on a on a zig you have the post coming from the other side and you have a streak or you can put a comeback so it just it's an easy setup you can do any formation to beat man to man and you know what i mean man 24 but we here so honestly let me tell y'all some little little heart to heart for y'all bro so i want to like not only do the tip videos you know tip videos are cool and all but like i also want to do like some other stuff so like we're gonna we're gonna drop another video just let me know if y'all like it, you know, go drop a go drop a comment. Let me know, like, what y'all think about it. So, like, you know, just an idea, you know? Because, like, you know, tip videos kind of get, not repetitive, but, like, you know, there's only so many tips you can try and give. And I want to do, do more for y'all. So, y'all just let me know what y'all think. And maybe y'all let me know if you want some, like, gameplays, too. I can do some gameplays for cards, you know? Just, just you know, do the three things people say at the end of their videos, you know? I don't even got to say it for y'all. I love y'all. Have a good day. Peace.